Howdy friends, it's Frightman, and this is the Costco 7 foot animated werewolf from the Halloween 2024 season. If you need a video on how to put them together, I have that. If you need a video on how to put them back in the box, I have that. But this video is going to be his demo and a fair and honest review. So let's take a look at this beast. Okay, so let's talk about this handsome devil. First of all, let me just talk a little bit about the assembly. So I had some challenges, and if you check out the assembly video, you'll learn what those are. Uh, he's a little difficult to put together. There's a trick on the arms that you'll find in the assembly video. So let's start off with the obvious, this head. This head is humongous. The neck is super low. I mean, we're talking probably like two feet. The eyes have LCDs in them, they blink, these teeth look really, really good. And what I find very interesting is there's a lot of holes here at the top of the mouth. Uh, tiny little holes, and we're gonna get back to that. But if you look at the, go back and look at the uh, animation video, and, and not only does his head go up and down, and of course his whole body is turning left and right, but the jaws don't just do this open and close, they kinda have a shutter movement to them. And it's awesome, it's very realistic. Now let's talk about his electronics. He's supposed to be rated for outdoors. So not only do you have the push pin for all of the electronic pieces, but there's also a cap with a gasket that you twist to uh, seal off that connection. So he should be pretty good outdoors. He should be able to survive the weather elements. The only thing I would say is if you did leave him outdoors, I think you're going to have some matting of this fur and it's not gonna look as nice, but he's a big guy. It's gonna be hard to get him in and out. Uh, I will do that. I don't like leaving my uh, animations out overnight, but um, if you do decide to leave it out, the only thing that I think you might have a problem with is this fur. Now this mouth is lined with a lot of holes. And if you look at the assembly video, I talk about him being on a constant on mode. That's what it appeared like when I assembled him. Actually, there is a sensor somewhere. This is my first prop ever that I've not seen a sensor on him. I suspect these holes up in the mouth are actually a sensor and it reacts very, very well to motion. Uh, I, my camera is probably six feet away and moving back there, this guy picks it up. So um, I think, again, the motion detector is probably built into the upper portion of the mouth. I'm not 100% sure. Wherever it is, it works and it works really, really well. I think these arms are done really, really well with one exception, and that's going to be the connector here where the hand goes into the arm itself. So you can see here that it's, it's, um, it's not concealed very well. Now the hands are posable, and I guess that's why we have to have that joint. I wish they would have went on ahead and just made that a solid piece instead of making it posable, because it does uh, show a lot of the uh, joint here. Now, personally, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get on Amazon and I'm gonna find me a little fur that looks this color, and I'm just gonna simply tack that onto these arms just to hide that. Outside of that, there's really not a lot that I feel like I need to do. This guy is a reskin from the Marsh Monster from the Home Depot in 2023, uh, meaning that these parts were used on a different prop. And so the arms are kind of a different color than the chest is here. And a lot of people on the internet are talking about that. So let me show you that. So 
you can see that these arms are kind of a darker brown here while the chest is kind of almost a grayish color so there is definitely a difference in the color if you go back and you look at my demo at the beginning of this video you'll see that blue was my favorite color he looks awesome in blue and if you use that blue light you really don't see that variance so based off of everything that i had heard with the internet i thought i was going to be doing something different with this chest maybe or maybe i was going to paint over these arms check him out in blue light that's what i'm going to use he looks awesome and it kind of hides that color difference so i don't feel like i need to do anything about it now another thing that people have talked about is the waist and the pants and um yeah i can see it's a little sloppy right here right so it it's a tad sloppy and it looks uh he's he's got a small waist but again go and look at the demo video look at it in the dark and I don't have a problem with that. I thought based off of what I had read, I might have to do a little bit of work filling this in and everything, but I really don't. This costume is actually done really, really nice. Not only do you have this torn up ridge shirt that they did a really good job on, but this chest is, um, I don't know what this material is called, but it's got a foam in it. And so it's really, really formed well where it's going to, you know, always fill itself out. There's no backing behind it. All of the filling is actually done in the costume piece itself. And it's done really, really well. Now, making it easy to get on and off and do your connections and your on and off in the back is Velcro running all the way back on this guy. So the shirt here in the back does hide all of that Velcro and that is built into that chest plate. But if I pull it up here, you can see how that chest piece, um, it's all Velcroed here in the back and it goes all the way down. And I just think it's done really, really nice. I like the way that they have filled this with this foam and it holds its shape really well. He has rips here in the back of the shirt and I just think they did a really nice job embellishing this guy out. You can also see that this hair piece coming from the head comes all the way down and I actually don't even have it pulled over. So it comes all the way down and it just does a great job making this look like it's one piece. I had not seen him in the store. I had seen him online. A friend of mine called me and said, hey, they got your werewolf. I said, hey, buy it. Today is the first time that I have seen him put together and I am just super excited and super thrilled. He's made really well. His poles are really well. These feet, let me show you these feet. So the feet are just unbelievable. So look at the size of these feet compared with my hand. It is, they're huge. <laughs> they're just huge. And they look really well, right? They have the uh, black nails on them and the, the uh, brown legs here. Again, people uh, talking about the difference in the color, right? With the arms and the feet. Again, check it out with that blue light. It looks really awesome. And just to give you one more chance to take a look at him in that blue light, look at that. So with that blue light, the arms and the chest really look about the same color. I'm super happy with it. The animations on this guy are awesome. We have the left or the right. We have the arms that are going up and down. That head going left and right as well as up and down with the chattering of the mouth. He's fantastic. The piece that I'm not really sure about is this tail. This, this tail is probably two and a half feet long. So yeah, I just don't know about this tail. I just feel like with this super long tail on this guy, he kind of looks like a furry. You know, those people who dress up in costumes. Uh, and it's almost cutesy to me. So I don't think I'm using the tail. I don't know, it just looks better to me. I think it just looks better without this tail. Tail or no tail. Personally, I believe it's going to be no tail, but I'm curious, let me know in the comments, do you like them better with the tail or without? Maybe I'm uh, not looking at it the way that I should, but for me, with that tail, it just reminds me of a furry. And I personally find him to be more scary without this tail. Truth be told, I'm hoping that everybody agrees with me that this tail is not a good look for this guy. And the reason that I'm saying that is because I talked about wanting to put some fur to kind of hide these um, separations of the arm and the hands. Well, here's my fur. 
<laughs> so if I decide to go with no tail, I can start stripping the fur off of this guy and just use that to glue around here. So again, let me know, do you think he looks better with the tail or without the tail? Now from that side view, he might be just a little skinny here in the waist area, but in the dark, it's not gonna really be noticeable. And I don't really put my props too much where people are gonna see it on the side anyway. But if it's something that you're concerned about, you might wanna think about making sure that you have him positioned to where he's more seen from the front and less from the side. It's not bad, the shirt does a good job covering it. And the kids don't care about that anyway. The focus is gonna be on that head, trust me. That head and those arms, they're menacing enough. Nobody's going to be looking at this guy's waist. From the back view, he's definitely very top heavy. And um, you know, he doesn't have a butt. But, but that seems to be a common theme this year on some of our props. So you're just going to be a buttless werewolf. That's it. I'm not gonna worry about it. Kids are not gonna worry about it. Put him in where you have a good frontal view and I think you're gonna be happy. Hey, if you made it this far, that tells me that you're enjoying the video. Please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing. Now, my final words on this guy, go get him. He was at Costco. It was $2.49 if I remember right. He's also available online at the time of this recording. Not every store has it. It's a little bit early in the season. I had to call around to find a store that did have him, but he's freaking awesome. Um, so if you're on the fence on this, you've seen some videos, you've heard a little bit of chatter, or maybe you've not seen him at all, I'm going to tell you, he is going to scare the hell out of some kids, <laughs> and I highly recommend that you get him. I hope you enjoyed this video, and until next time, stay spooky, my friends. <laughs> <laughs>